Hello folks, I was just looking at this, um, I had a lovely Father's Day card from the um, stepdaughter and well, there it is, I know it was a while back now, Father's Day, but just looking at it, and I, the message, thank you for always being there or being here for me and looking after my mum, love you lots, Misha, <laughs> beautiful isn't it, anyway, I'm not throw, never throwing that away. I'm going to keep that forever. Anyway, let's get to um, the um, video this week. Um, it's the uh, Corgi Chrysler, um, what was it? L64 um, with the V8 engine. And um, as always, nice comments. I'll read out a few names here. You left me nice comments. Mike Stewart, Graham, Graham Mummery, Ralph Coolin, Mal Bro. Chris Smith, Jeremy Atkins, Ian B, Glenn Stimson, Fred Boom Boom, and Rosie Gary, Play Apps, and an old mate of mine, um, Andrew Buckley, Bucks as I call him. I haven't seen him for ages. He, he used to pop round quite a bit, but I haven't seen him for a long time. Um, anyway, um, a few things, um, few things here before we get on with the video. Do you? Dugu Kayan is a shout, I still can't say that properly, <laughs> Ben he's called, and um, he, he's a teacher in um, Turkey, um, he says no doubt she is a handful, it's all about the old transit video when you all saw me misses at last, <laughs> she is improving quite a bit now, she's starting to walk a bit faster and all that, she's still got the frame, she hasn't quite got the confidence yet, because she's not quite right with her balance yet, but she'll get there. Um, no doubt she's a handful, but a real cutie. <laughs> um, it's great to see her on the mend, and the restoration is nothing less than absolutely perfect. Kindness regards, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Um, Stanley Moore. Nice socks, Mrs. Bob. He likes the stripy socks. <laughs> Got quite a few messages about her socks. Um, Bob Fellows. Good to see Linda's getting better. Love the colourful socks. There, see, there's another one. <laughs> Aaron Newmayer. I'd rather watch a reality TV show featuring you and Mrs. Bob than the Kardashians <laughs> or some of that other rot that's out there. I, d I don't know anybody can watch that rubbish stuff like that, like you know, like Big Brother and all that. What's the point of it all? It's it's just a camera of watching people doing nothing, just going to sleep and things like that. I'm, well, I can't be doing that sort of crap. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Jeff from Diecast Poll powder coating well done Bob beautiful restoration glad to see the wife and that she's making a good recover recovery take care Jeff thanks a lot mate uh, Shuey08 love that van great resto mate nice to see the missus is making an appearance hope oh, she's getting on her feet again soon thanks for sharing I, th I think I'm going to have to do another video with the missus in it because um, you all seem to like watching her more than me <laughs> so uh, most probably, see, when we do the Christmas um, video, like the end of the year, before we actually get out of Europe for, for proper, I shall um, probably um, try and get her to, you know, join me in in the, um, you know, when I do the video indoors and that, and with the um, showing me showing you all the models that I've done over the year. Um, Martin Dare, Dinky Restorations. Hi Linda, good to see you in fine spirits and keeping the big man in his place. Make sure he keeps up the good work of looking after you. I do, Martin. I always look after her. Hope you make another appearance with an update on your recovery. I'm sure she will. And Bob, great restoration. Good idea with the back doors. Yeah, the back doors on the old dinky transit there. They never fit properly and there's always a gap. So, as you saw in the video, I put that bit of um, five second fix, glue stuff down the edge of one of the doors and sanded it and put it so it was like an ex well it filled the gap up you know when you shut the doors you didn't see the gaps were good it's it sort of closed it up a bit um mark brock absolute beauty you just earned another subscriber i can't wait to see more thanks for subscribing mark you know and all the rest of you that haven't subscribed yet come on hit the button don't be shy <laughs> it doesn't cost you anything it helps me um, Mark Crawford hi Bob two questions what's the magic solution for the windows and what color of gray do I use on the base well um, I did I did uh, message you back uh, Mark 
if you look at a few more of my videos you'll see it's most of most of the um restorers use it it's called pledge hang on a minute i've got it up there i've actually got the packet up here i'll show you and it's um it's actual floor shine gloss floor shine but you've got to get the right one revive it and it's about 12 or 13 quid a bottle that's the one you want and that is really it's crystal clear stuff and it's a very fine varnish and you just dip your screens in that old screens i mean some some new screens is, is all right with it but that there brings back well they look like new again it puts a shine back on them after you've cleaned them up and all that obviously you've got to clean them up and get them as best as you can and give them a dip in that and well it's like a new screen so and the uh, base coat like i say i just use this ordinary primer really just ordinary grey primer lets it dry off and then just lacquers it over that's good enough it's near enough a similar colour to what the original was the original is like a little tint of blue in it but I'm not bothered about that the grey looks alright it's good enough for me Frank McKee sorry for not watching the videos the problem is I subscribe to too many channels that do the same thing well Frank yeah that's that's one thing of it there's quite a few people that do it now but now there is quite a few channels i must admit frank but you know that dudes dudes all the same thing and i suppose they're all the same these videos once you send one you send them all so if you don't want to subscribe don't worry about it i'm not i'm not going to hold it against you <laughs> totally up to you mate john d well how on earth i've missed your channel however i've subscribed and it's fab <laughs> god bless you and mrs bob well thanks for um subscribing john john d that is flying valiant um, thanks for the show date. Well, you've got another show date, no? That. <laughs> so glad to see the better half is doing better. Best wishes to you both. Another great video. Thanks a lot, mate. Uh, Gaza P. Good, good to see Mrs. Bob getting well. Before, before long, she would be able to fetch you beer. Yeah, well, I've got to wear my gas monkey T-shirt for that because she can be my beer assistant again. Then <laughs> I've done a few transits and I agree on transfers. They are better than the stickers yeah they are better than the stickers yeah um anyway i've got a message here stephen holden you um messaged me on um youtube can you email me and let me know exactly what you wanted to know if you can get me um get me email address in the about page if you look on the computer or tablet whatever it'll be there it's all you haven't got to do anything you'll see me email address there so if you email me you can tell me a bit more detail about what you wanted to know about so um if you can do that that'd be great um well that's about it really for now um it's not a very long video this week it's it's only a pretty straightforward really this um chrysler um, v8 just a, just a strip down it's, it's an easy one made a change to do an easy you know restoration it's just a strip down and um put back together really you know paint put back together pretty um pretty basic stuff really but you know if you want to flick through it that's that's up to you you know but you can see the before and after you scroll through to the end like you know if any adverts come up when you're watching it let them play through because then it helps me get a bit of money then because that all that money if i can get some money i haven't got nothing yet i don't know how it works really i'm just trying it out you know but i think you've got to you've got to get so much before they actually pay you anything but i mean i was thinking i might as well do it because i'm you know it'll help pay for paint and stuff like that wouldn't it you know and all these odd bits and pieces like you know so that's what i'm going to use it for any ad money but it ain't going to be a lot i don't think i think it's a waste of time doing it myself but anyway that's enough of rabble let's um let's get on and do this this video and um i'll catch you again next week so till then bye bye for now Bye bye. Okay, folks, this is what we're going to be doing today. This is the Chrysler number, well, Corgi number 241 Chrysler Gear L64 with the V8 engine. God, I don't know, I remember all that, but <laughs> no, I haven't got it wrote down, if that's what you're saying. But anyway, this one. In too bad really I picked this one up in a toy fair and, and all that's wrong with it really is just the old, the windscreen's got a big gap in it and if you open the door there on that driver's side there the left hand drive there's a, a door card missing I 
don't know if you can see it from, oh you can, but anyway that's all that's wrong really and well obviously the tyres are missing, but that's as far as I can see what's wrong with it, so um, anyway let's um, get on with this one and um, make it look nice again. Okay guys, oh, let's get the old focus working here a minute, bloody thing. Right, this one here, pick this one up in a toy fair somewhere, and I picked the best I could find, the trouble is the glass is going on it, but it doesn't matter, I've got a new piece, so that's alright, and the only thing that else was wrong with it was this door card was missing, but the trouble is, they've sent me the wrong one, they says when ordering, You've got to order as if you're sat in the car, what side do you want? So I said the left hand side. But what they've done is they've sent me the right hand side and I've had to turn it and put it in back to front of it so you haven't got the pocket showing. Hang on, I'll show you. You're not you can't see that properly. As you see on there there's a bit of a moulding. They've sent me that one, not that one there. That one there should have a mode on it, but there is, but it's on the other side, so I've had to flip it around. So I'm just going to have to, you know, deal with it like it is. But there you go, so even they can get it wrong. I've drilled this one out, so it's just a case of um, flipping it open a minute. It's not, there's not much to this one, folks, really. There's not a lot. It's just a normal run of the mill corgi no complications should be involved <laughs> saying that you know you usually do you've got a funny old suspension on this one as you can see now what I've noticed there's a thing here so when you push the card down it pushes up that piece there and that pushes the bonnet open but it doesn't seem like it's it's not pushed back there enough look. and it it's not coming up high enough to push the bonnet open so I'm going to cut another little piece of plastic and stick on top of that to make it a bit higher so that when we press it it's going to go up higher and it's going to push the bonnet open that's how it's supposed to work if you see there that it's supposed to push the bonnet open but I'm going to stick another little tiny piece on the top of it not too much because otherwise the bonnet won't shut and that'll cure that so I don't really want to go messing around with all this I'm going to try and um, give this a coat of paint, give it a rub down, give it a coat. Then again, I might leave it like it is. It isn't too bad. I'll have to see later on. I might give it a rub down and give it a flash over coat because the paint work doesn't look too bad on that. These bumpers just pull out like that. They're all in good condition, really. They all pull out. The doors will just fall off once you've got the bottom base plate off. Because they hook, they hook into these pieces here, like, as you can see, there's little holes there, like, so they get held on by that. The boot just comes out like that, like, and the bonnet just comes out the top, and that's all there is to it, really. And you take your seats out, that just needs a clean up, and the old uh, glass comes out, which is no good, like that, and that's it. This has all been drilled out. When you're drilling these out, watch the back piece. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot there, like. So you can only drill in a little bit. So I'm going to, have to put a very tiny rivet in there to put that back. I've done the front one already, and that's about it, really. There's not much else you can say about it. Obviously, you've got to get your your dual headlights out. They'll pop out. Might be able to pick them out with me now, actually. Maybe not. But anyway, they're going to pop out. So I might replace them because usually when you pop them out they don't it usually takes a bit of the backing off of them but I've got some silver ones I could put in there and that's about it so all this can um, get cleaned up like I say obviously these bits pop out as well the plastic pieces they gotta come out and then we can get the stripping on this one so that'll be the next stage right if you can hear a noise in the background, it's the fan. I've got the fan on because it's pretty hot in the shed here. Anyway, we'll put the old boiling water in the old hot dog jar. There's Rob's Matchbox Garage. 
always does and we'll um, whack a bit of um, caustic soda in it, let's fill my kettle up again if I switch the fan off so you can hear me a bit better now right we'll put the old caustic soda in and get this paint gone look at that go I think that'll be enough don't you so we'll let that stew for a while yeah, you can see the bits of paint coming off already I can see bits of it I'll shake it up a little bit there's a bit down the bottom there if you can see that and there it goes that so anyway we'll leave that for a minute get all that paint off and then um, next time you see it it'll be nice and shiny because I'll get the old wire brush treatment doing on it and I'll bring it back to you when it's all nice and shiny okay well, while we're waiting for the old um, wire I'm just letting it the casting actually um, soak for a minute in the caustic so while we're waiting for that I'm going to paint up these I've sprayed these bumpers with the black I always put a matte black on them on um, any bumpers I've got to do before I put the molotov on it I put a nice coat of matte black because I don't know for some reason the silver seems to show up better on it so I'm a bit out of shot here there that's better so I've just um, got my Molotov pen in the voice at the moment and um, giving this a nice good coat of Molotov paint so we can get the old chrome finish back on it and that's all you got to do is go over it it's easier than using the pen I think I, I just find it easier to um, brush it on Make sure you ain't got too much in one spot because it's funny old paint this. And get that all covered over. You gotta try and put it on really thick really. So as you get the shine. So it's not looking too bad in the light. If you look at that in the light, you see what I mean? It shows up a lot better when you've got the old light shining on it. Make sure you get all these little bits that don't get covered. Where it shows up the most is on the wide parts. You've got to make sure you've got a nice girt big dollop on these um, wide pieces because you don't want to see the brush strokes I mean once it settles they'll disappear so I'll leave that now that bit that should settle now and the brush strokes will disappear as you can see there that they're gone you put it on thick enough you can get away with it I'm going to have to hold this a different way in a minute because I don't want to get my bloody fingers on this. I've actually sanded all these bumpers down a bit with a bit of ember paper. So they um, they should be alright on there. I'm getting awkward now. I'm going to have to get the old grabbers in a minute. My old crocodile clip on there in a minute I think because otherwise my fingers is going to be in the way of everything but anyway you get the idea and there you see that it's got a nice new chrome bumper I've got to do the underneath but I'm going to have to do put the crocodile cliff on talking funny because I've got Russian in my mouth right 
get the old bit more around there. Don't be afraid to slosh it on there. Like I say, the thicker it goes on, the better the um, finish. Because it will shrink back anyway. Make, your sh make sure there's a bit there, just in case it shows when we put the casting back together. You don't want that showing. And there's just the underneath to do. And then that's one of them finished and ready to go back on when we've got the car all finished up with and sprayed up. But this Molotov is ideal for this sort of job. It's a very good good paint. I don't know if they do a spray paint of this but I wish they did. I mean bloody hell it would be it, it, well, it'd be probably really expensive to buy, but you know the finish you'd get if you had an actual can of this stuff. I think it'd be amazing, like especially for these sort of things. Like you know, it'd be such a better finish than trying to do it like I'm doing it now with a brush. But I've found this is the um, better than putting it on by pen. If you look at that now. That's looking pretty good. And there you go. That's that one done. So I'll get on and do the other one. And then I'll bring the casting back. And we'll... Um, oh, well, I'll show you the colour I'm going to spray it. Because I think I've got a near match to it. But there you go. That's, that's how it comes out. So this thing should look pretty good when he's put back together. These nice, nice new bumpers. So there you go. Right. As you can see, it's all um, cleaned up now. I don't know what I'm bloody doing with this kid out. There, it's all all been um, cleaned up. I'm going to get an undercoat on this. And then um, I'm going to put the old colour on it. I'm not going to bother showing any spraying the undercoat. I'll, I'll spray the colour. I'll show that. And... Um, I think I've got it as near as I can. I'm, I'm using this. It's a BMW Estoril or Est Estoril Blue 2 Metallic, and it looks very much similar to the um, original blue that it was, because it was a metallic blue to start with. As you can see, the grill has come out nice and shiny like that. That's all. Come out nice and chromey, so they're done. I've cleaned the interior. I don't know what happened there. The camera paused for a sec. I've cleaned the interior, as you can see. I've glued that dog on because he kept falling off, but that's where he sits anyway. So, all oh, that's ready to go back. The windscreen's all clean, and what I did with the base plate, all I did was I rubbed it down a bit, and I just gave it a flash over really. Give it a bit of lacquer. I've polished the wheels up as you can see. And I'm going to put a few new tyres on it now. I bought these here containers. Only just over a quid for four. And I'll tell you what. They're, it's a demi local bargain shop. They're handy little things. You can, All these little compartments. And you can actually stack them on top of each other. In, in the drawers I've got. If I just turn the camera upwards. You can actually stack them in the actual oh I can't even get the bloody thing up hang on a minute I'll take it out that's the easiest way now if, you, if you look up there I've got them stacked and they fit into these drawers perfectly in this one that I've got a few odds there as you can see that Dual headlights, odd bits and pieces, ornate grill, 270 grill, and in the other one I've got a few figures in the other one, I ain't going to bother pulling all that out, and I've got some more up here, and this is where I put me um, decals, I've got all my decals up, all in different things, so they are very good little storage things. 
But anyway, let's get back to what we um, what we're doing here, which is doing this one here. <laughs> right. So I'm going to put these tires on now. I've got I've got four new tires here for it. I always make sure I'm stocked up on tires because you never know when you need them. When you're putting these tires on, you'll notice. Not a lot of people do notice it, but one side on the corgi type tires, I don't know about the rest of the tires, but you'll see it's a, a bit of a bigger, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but a bit of focus. Well, it seems to be a bit rough one side. The other side, it's got a sort of a tighter finish around the air. But this side goes down quite a bit, so that's the inside. What you want to do is put them on so that you've got the clean side there. It's not so much of a lip there. The lip is forever closest to the edge of the tyre. And that's the tire that that's the side that pokes outwards, that shows outwards, not that way round. It sort of goes down. The lip is a bit further back on one side, so you've got to flip them round and put them on that way, and it's a better finish. And you've got a cleaner. They're all the same. That there's another one there. That see how far down the lip is. So that's the inside. So you, it goes on that way round. If you see what I mean. And that's how it works. A mate of mine told me this, I never noticed it. You learn everything, something every day. See, the lips are over down. Then it is that side, so that's the outside, that's see. And then you get a nice clean finish. But yeah, that's that one done, that's the base done. I've also stuck that bit of plastic on top of there. If you can see that, I've stuck a little bit of plastic on the top of here so that it pokes up a little bit further so that when you when you push it down it's going to open the bonnet and the bonnet still shut so don't worry <laughs> I didn't put it too much on there but anyway that's um, that's that for now next bit we're going to spray this um, car up I'm going to put the undercoat on and then we're going to spray it with the paint Right, here we go. We're going to um, get the old blue on this now. I think I'm going to put a bit of rag over my hand because I'm going to get, get plastered out. Folks. 
nearly, nearly finished. Finally, the boots. I've got to spray indoors today because um, it's a bit rainy outside today. What we can do with it? There you go. It's not too bad at all. Okay, folks. Here we got it. It's had plenty of time to dry now. I got a bit carried away again. Sorry. <laughs> But you know, you know the game is. I've just painted that engine over again. Put the headlights in. Stuck a couple of new um, jewels in there. It's about all really, and done the back lights. So, well, it's ready to go back together now. First of all, I'm going to do these doors. As I told you, well, these are going to have to be glued in anyway. So I'm going to put a little dab of glue on the um, just like that. That's enough just to hold the door in, the, the panels, and you just pop them in like that, push them in. They're quite a tight fit anyway. And there's one done. But if you notice on that one, it's got like a bit of a mold, it's not very good, but it's, you know, it's something there I suppose. The other one, they they actually sent me the wrong one. <laughs> They've sent me the same one as that. And that. I did say the other side I wanted, and that's got a bit of a mold in there as well, but I'm going to have to flip it over that one and put him in the other way round because I'm not going to mess around sending it all back now just for that. So on this one I'm going to have to put a bit on the sides of the the actual weather panel because you've got like a little bit of a gap in between. It only needs a little bit. So I'm going to have to flip him round back to front. As long as there's a bit of red there, you know what I mean? I don't think anybody's going to take a lot of notice like that. So I'm going to have to hold that one for a minute and let that dry. Um, the dog, I made a mistake with the dog actually when I showed you this piece earlier on. I had the dog facing the back, you know, looking out the back window. Uh, it's alright now. And I've done a little test fit with the glass and, and the glass wouldn't go in properly. He's got to be facing the front, I didn't realise that. It's a good job I looked at it again. Otherwise I'd have had problems trying to get that in. But he's got to be facing the front. If you've got him facing the back, his head gets in the way of this this back window when you want to put it down. Right, so let's um, put this thing together. So first of all, we'll stick our glass in, in this glass. The actual front piece of this glass goes underneath. So it goes outside of the body, if you know what I mean. Comes down outside the body. Because if you look there, look, there's a little ridge. And the glass actually goes over that. And goes as one of them. So that's that piece in. Right, let's get the old the boot can go in. That just drops or bonnet I should say. That just drops in like that. The boot can go in the back. And that just you're gonna have to get your finger up there to hold the, the actual boot. If I can get a slot into that. I don't want to go in there now that there's always something Get in there, that's it, he's in. Now the glass wants to come out. So you're going to put your finger on the back. Now this is a fiddly bit. Now these doors can be a bit of a pain. We've got to look in. You've got to shut them to do this because this is where you need free, free hands. So you've got to shut them and hold them there somehow while you're holding the bonnet and you're holding the boot. This is a bugger, this one. Right, that's it. I've let the boot go, I'm hoping it's going to stay there. And then you put the other one in like that, and you're going to shut that one. And you get them in like that, and then get this, this bit in as quick as you bloody can, really. There, right, I think I've got it, yeah. It's in there. <laughs> well, that happened easier than I thought it was going to. Anyway, then you just slot your um, slot your bumpers in there like that. They just slot in. Keep hold of that, and then you got your other one there. He slots in. 
and then all it is then you get the old top on or the bottom on I should say and let him drop down be gentle with it because you've got to get they make sure they doors is lined up in these things and he should click he should click in then I think he's in there it's looking like he is yeah the doors should open now yeah that's fine oh bit of a chip there should have left that door shut but yeah that's it and then all we do then is we put a little rivet in and I've actually got them already made up a little blob around there I've got a little tiny one for the back because the back one is a little bit of a bugger to drill out something to push that down I'll get my foil in I think nice soft wood there's the back one and then we get a little bit in the front a little blob and we put our front one in and as you can see I made them look like um you know like I do like the original rivets and that's it that's all folks <laughs> as Warner Bros would say and let's see if the bonnet works I did put that bit of plastic on and there you go there's the bonnet working again so now you can open the bonnet so I've got that extra piece of plastic and he shuts nice and flat as well that but there you go that's all there is to it screen's in alright now, the dog's facing the right way so we'll look at this on the turntable now compare before and after and that'll be the end of this video ok this is what we started with it's the uh, as I said the Corby 241 Chrysler gear with the V8 engine and as you can see the dog's still there in the back everything's there really I mean the windscreen it's the only problem, it's got a big piece missing and the only other bit, you can't see it at the moment because the door shut, is the door card on the driver's side the left hand side being this model because it's a foreign car I suppose is uh, missing and that was all we needed to get was a new windscreen and a new door card so anyway after we did our magic on it this is what we ended up with nice new paint job a bit darker than it was before but there are a few models that are a bit darker I've noticed on Google but it was the only colour I could find closest a uh, new door card although it was the wrong one they sent me but it doesn't look too bad and I also um, improved the bonnet release mechanism by adding another piece of plastic to the suspension part so now you can pop the bonnet a lot easier but yeah if you enjoyed this video want to see some more i will be back very soon with another one but till then it's bye bye from me